Hello everyone. Welcome to Sharachanda IS Academy. Welcome to the discussion of articles of Hindu newspaper. Okay. In this particular lecture, we uh, in this particular lecture series, we will be discussing about some of the important topics which were there in the current news. Okay. So today's topic of discussion is the topic called hate speech. Okay. The topic of discussion today is hate speech basically uh, from last 4 5 months and all there were many such incidences or there are there were many hindu articles with respect to hate speech for example uh, in january or so there was an article about hate speech in the time of free speech there was an article about that okay and uh, recently on july 16th and 17th also there was a, a article about stamp out this hate speech manufacturing network okay and in many other articles of hindu also there were some uh, so called stat uh, statistics with respect to hate speech so for example there was many incidences of hate speeches okay there were 500% increase within the 7 years of span if you take for example from uh, 2014 to 20 okay from 300 to 1000 the cases have increased okay so it means there was uh, the hate the topic called hate speech is very much important in the context of uh, with respect to mains and all in the context of this particular news we will be talking about what is hate speech so basically when we were taking a topic within polity okay so we have to have a framework first okay whenever we are seeing some topic with respect to newspaper and all in editorial and all when or when you are seeing a topic we should have a framework so what is that framework this is what is our framework so basically when you take a topic we have to try and understand why it is in news okay why is it in news because there were increased incidences of hate crimes there were increased in incidences of okay inflammatory and proactive speeches okay so here you can write because of the increased incidences okay pre increased incidences of provocative and inflammatory increased incidences of provocative and inflammatory speeches this particular context called hate speech is in news now what is the definition of hate speech that's what is the second thing that we need to know because is there any law within the constitution that defines about what is hate speech for example do you remember article 17 it says untouchability right is it defined in the constitution what is untouchability no this that does an act defined what is untouchability no it means these are some important things that you need to remember you know there is an abolition of untouchability with respect to article 17 but we do not define what is untouchability in a similar lines hate speech is also not defined in any constitution article then who defined it why is it necessary to define it because there is a difference between hate speech and offensive speech some speeches can be offensive speech but they cannot be termed as hate speech so that is a reason we have to understand what is the definition of a hate speech okay then is there any regulation regulations as in you can take regulations with respect to constitution regulations like some because of some statutory provisions okay so within statutory for example your indian penal code the ipc sections also uh, will also uh, give punishment with respect to a, uh, this particular incidences of hate speech and all so what are all the constitutional provisions that we have what are all the statutory provisions that we have that was the second thing now after that we need to understand what are all the causes okay what is the reason for having such incidences of hate speech and what is the consequence that is what happens if hate speech hate crimes kind of things will happen in the society it means we have to understand what are all the reasons and the results so whenever there is a topic uh, which is related to polity guys it was always important to know about the regulations 
and it is also important to see the supreme court view okay what supreme court feels with respect to some cases and all when supreme court gives judgment okay so according to that we can also uh, uh, like you can use that supreme court uh, statements definitions and all when it comes to the answer writing part because our answer becomes more credible when we talk uh, the things that were suggested by supreme court and all right so we will try and understand what are all the supreme court cases that were there with respect to hate speech for example there was uh, this case called pravasi balai sangadan case okay in that case supreme court has suggested okay in pravasi balai sangadan case in this case only supreme court uh, suggested this particular law commission to define hate, hate speech okay basically who gave the definition of hate speech there are multiple incidences where supreme court law commission some scholars have defined hate speech but in pravasi balai sangadan case supreme court directed uh, this particular uh, law commission to give the hate speech uh, related definition okay now along with the uh, along with this whenever there is a polity topic it is also very much important to understand the committees that were there okay what are all the committees for example with respect to hate, uh, hate speech we have something called tk vishwanathan committee okay we have tk vishwanathan committee this committee have suggested something okay they they have given some suggestions to give the definition of hate speech to handle the incidences of hate crimes all these things okay there is some views of scholars as well scholars like uh, uh, the uh, jonathan mayard there are some scholars who gave their uh, views with respect to hate speech that is also very much important because such views of scholars can be used okay so can be used as a suggestion because scholar when they say something they will be having a complete uh, understanding of the topic or you know so such things will happen so scholars like we will see about some a scholar called jonathan mayard mayard okay this person have given some suggestions to tackle hate speech okay such things we can uh, we can also have and the other thing is way forward and then way forward is nothing but what what can be done what can be done with respect to hate speech so for example whenever you are taking a topic and you are comprehensively covering all these things this will ensure that at least we will have 250 to 300 words for a topic then in mains answer writing it will become a easier task this is how we need to analyze the news okay so first of all let us go with the news part what does the news part says news obviously the heading of the news says that hate speeches hate crimes hate inflammatory speeches proactive speeches all these things are increasing more okay this is what is there in the news now you have to remember one thing basically why will the hate speech why uh, the incidences of hatred gets generated within the people if there are two dominant communities okay if there are two dominant communities what will happen in the drive to power in the drive to equality between them and all this particular incidences of hatred will happen we we call them as mono lithic identities for example you can take in sri lanka okay in sri lanka uh, the sinhalas or the sinhalese and tamils there were the two major groups that were there so obviously it is a monolithic identity there can be the high incidences of violence yes or no high chances of violence there can be there but what is the thing that that is needed for a multicultural society like india if india is a monolithic identity i mean if you have monolithic identities that was a different story but our india is a multicultural society yes or no india is a multicultural society then in multicultural society wherein you have cross cutting identities 
sometimes a culture of one particular region will be little similar to other but the method of celebrating it will be different for example everybody does new year in tel in telangana in andhra area it is called with several other names in other regions it is called as other names we will be having some cross cutting identities some similar identities we will be having in such multicultural society like india what is the most important binding aspect binding aspect or which is a most important binding aspect is nothing but having fraternity okay fraternity what is fraternity the feeling of brotherhood okay the feeling of one as the feeling of brotherhood okay uh, in some incidences there was a quote by dr b r ambedkar as well fraternity is the principle which gives unity and solidarity to the social life that's what is the statement given by dr b r ambedkar it means having a feeling of brotherhood is very very important for a multicultural society like india okay so it means in india there should be low hate crimes and all there should be low hate speeches and all but what is the reason that is making or that is creating the incidences of hate speech yes or no there there are there are some causes behind this thing that was the reason we were learning the topic now so now we have to understand causes of hate speech okay so what is the cause with respect to hate speech obviously as i have told you we were a multicultural multi religious multilingual multi ethnic society it means in such society we will have so many social divides yes or no so we will be having social divides because our culture will be different from person who is 100 kilometers away yes or no so there will be social divides how are the social divides formed social divides based on identity yes social divides based on identity we were having and then what is another reason for the cause of hate speech there were some administrative problems okay Admin administrative problems like there is no specific law to deal with hate speech for example if you if you do some uh, uh, if you if you promote some hatred towards one religion or one caste or something and all that will create an incidences of hate speech and all but how will you be punished you will be punished under multiple various sections of ipc there is a no proper specific section for hate speech in ipc okay so there were some administrative problems as well with respect to law and all there were lack of stringent laws stringent or strong laws there was some lack of strong laws okay and there was also something called a very important thing basically politicization of social divides what is politicization of social divides which means for example there were two sections in a society okay those sections are having enmity between each of them then what this politicians will do they'll play something called vote bank politics they will politicize the issue you understand so they will politicize the issue to a vote bank politics that was also a cause of hate speeches increase in the incidences of hate speeches in the society and what will happen if this politicization happens this particular politicization leads to something called polarization it means what people get uh, polarized they will form into groups and all and they will only work for that group they show hatred towards the other groups and all yes or no it means politicization creates polarization polarization leads to okay polarization leads to what obviously if there is polarization that will happen it will lead leads to the incidences of hate crimes hate crimes hitting another religion people killing other religion people other race other ethnic other caste other uh, linguistic identities will be there so such, such incidences of uh, hate crimes will happen did you understand till here 
okay so that is what is the cause of hate speech now if you go back and check the framework of ours okay so under that first of all we know the news we understood the causes now we to we have to understand what is the definition given by law commission with respect to hate speech what is the definition given by law commission in the article itself if you go through the article oh, that was published in hindu newspaper it says that there is no specific legal definition of hate speech and provisions in law criminalize speeches writings actions signs and representations that foment violence so what does this uh, particular thing says there is no specific legal definition of hate speech so that is a reason in the pravasi balai sangadan case supreme court directed the law commission to give the definition of hate speech okay so what this law commission defined law commission have defined law commission have gave the definition of hate speech in its 267th report what is its definition of hate speech it is generally an incitement to hatred primarily against a group of persons defined in the terms of race ethnicity gender sexual orientation religious beliefs and the like it means what what is the definition of hate speech okay hate speech definition under law commission what can you say in general it is a incitement incitement to hatred towards what against a particular group it may be a religious group or a different race an ethnic group gen based on gender if you are just discriminating based on religious beliefs okay we, you belong to this religion that religion etc in such a case we can call it as a hate speech did you understand there is a difference between a offensive speech speech and a hate speech okay and what is the consequence of the hate speech basically if you see here the article also says that hate speech is considered as a limitation on free speech that seeks to prevent and or bar the speech that exposes a person or a group or a section of the society to hate violence ridicule or indignity it means in general what happens if the hate speech incidence increases basically the kind of hate crimes and hate speeches will actually affect the basic tenets of democracy okay they will affect the basic tenets of democracy what are the basic tenets of democracy okay it says that the basic tenets of democracy like dignity okay and inclusiveness dignity and inclusiveness the basic tenets of democracy will be getting affected if there are incidences of hate speech do you understand till here so it means we have covered the news we have covered what is the definition of hate speech we understood the causes as well now we have to understand is there any regulations with respect to hate speech do we have any regulations do we have any regulations with respect to hate speech that's what is the thing so basically if you go through the regulations part of I, uh, hate speech and all we have article 19 of the constitution what does your article 19 of the constitution talks about 191 it talks about freedom of speech and expression yes or no is it a qualified right or a absolute right obviously it is a qualified right what is a qualified right a qualified right is something which will have restrictions it means you have freedom to speech and expression but that doesn't mean that you can speak anything today if you say if i say you have freedom of speech and expression that doesn't mean you have all the provisions to hit someone to scold someone or some way like that no basically it was a qualified right which means there are some restrictions as well okay this is nothing but your constitutional provisions yes there are some statutory provisions as well what is the statutory provisions based on some law 
okay based on some law if you are if you could able to define it or if you able to punish people who are committing that particular crime that is nothing but statutory provisions so section 153 of ipc and section 505 of ipc they actually do not they are not confined to hate speech guys okay they are not specific to hate speech what section 153 as tells that whenever someone promotes enmity between the people okay this means this section is nothing but this section is against promotion of enmity promotion of enmity okay if somebody is promoting enmity okay if they are promoting enmity then under that particular section that person can be arrested and it he can be imprisoned for 3 years there will be 3 years of imprisonment okay it means there are no specific laws to uh, deal with the hate speech but what can be done several ipc sections can be used to file a case against or file a charge against this particular hate speech what is another section of ipc section 505 this also talks about statements conducting public mischiefs that is also a punishable offense and you will be jailed up to 5 years okay so it means this particular sections of ipc also talks about this particular thing and there is another section of ipc which is section 295a okay which talks about blasphemy what is blasphemy when you are promoting enmity between the religious and all okay when you are promoting enmity between religious and all this is nothing but blasphemy section 990 295a of ipc that also has statutory provision against the uh, against the hate speech but here do we see any uh, section or any law which is specific to hate speech no right we do not have a specific law which actually a uh, specific to hate speech so that's why what law commission did is law commission has proposed that separate offenses to be added to ipc to criminalize hate speech instead of being subsumed in existing sections so basically we are subsuming the existing sections uh, in this particular like subsuming subsuming this particular hate speech definition into existing sections be based on 153a 1295a 505 and all we were filing the cases against the people when they spread hate speech and all but law commission is suggesting to have a separate okay separate provisions for hate speech so that's what is the thing i hope it is clear for you all okay now so in after regulations we have to see the causes and consequences of hate speech as i've told you what are all the causes of hate speech basically in a multicultural society like india the social divides administrative problems lack of laws politicization politicization leading to polarization polarization leading to hate crimes or hate speech okay the, all these things are leading to some incidents is called hate hate Uh, crimes and hate speech now what happens if the polarization happens hate speech of incidents is what is the consequence that will happen that we will see now consequences of hate speech if hate speech is delivered what will it, what will it do it will increase the incidences of hate crimes yes or no one people goes against the other section of society because of the polarized nature of them that is what one consequence it will disturb the public order okay it means public order is disturbed yes or no so whenever whenever there are hate crimes that were happening it will disrupt or it will make public disorder okay there will be violence see consequence is not such something which is deals with the result of that particular hate speech okay so violence will take place and it will also makes challenges for democracy what is challenges to democracy as i've told you okay hate speech will affect the basic tenets of democracy which is dignity and inclusiveness yes or no when we were talking about the regulations this thing 
okay hate speech is nothing but something which affect the basic tenets of democracy which is dignity and equality yes or no so it means a consequence of particular hate speech is a challenges to democracy which we actually call it as de democratization yes or no this will lead to de democratization yes so that is what is a consequence what will happen another thing we will develop something called a culture of banishment okay we always feel only our culture our religion our race is gay, great right so banishment will take place which is also defined as a cancer culture yes or no okay why all these things were happening what is a cause and consequence basically when it comes to the causes sometimes social media is also cause yes or no because for example you have a content with respect to some hate speech for example you belong to x religion you get a whatsapp forward message that these people are doing everything against our religion so we should go against them without any proper evidence without any proper knowledge and all we were struck in filter bubbles yes or no whatever whatsapp says whatever youtube says is the right thing for us nobody knows what is the ground reality for example one day you search a particular news against one particular political party every day you will get the suggestions which are against that political party one day you search for a political party uh, good things every day you will get that particular things yes or no it means social media is filtering the content which is making us or which will confuse us we we do not even understand what is happening what is right what is wrong and all so this is also leading to polarization this is also leading to hate crimes this is also creating the consequences of hate speech clear till here okay so now we understood <clears throat> we understood what is uh, what is there in news we understood the definition we know the regulations with respect to Uh, constitution and with respect to law now we know the causes and consequences as well now what is the supreme court cases as i have already told you in pravasi balai sangadan case what supreme court said it directed law commission to define hate speech okay so law commission defined hate speech what does law commission says it says that an incitement to violence an incitement to hatred towards a particular section or group of persons is defined in terms of race ethnicity gender sexual orientation this is what is a proper definition of hate speech clear everyone so now we have to understand after the supreme court cases what are all the views of scholars what is the way forward what can be done yes or no what is this way forward mean what can be done as i have already told you there were some proposals of law commission what is law commission saying see we do not have a separate law to or separate sections within the ipc to talk about hate speech okay so law commission has proposed to have separate offenses to be added to the ipc to criminalize hate speech quite specifically instead of being subsumed in the existing sections concerning inflammatory acts and speeches okay basically we have section 153c of ipc 505a section 153a section 295a all these things actually talk about or actually punish those crimes which were inflammatory and proactive okay any kind of incitement to hatred you get punished under 153 if you are promoting enmity 153a under that section you get punished but we do not have a proper sections or proper regulations within the ipc so what is the way forward what is the way forward first thing is we need a proper okay separate uh, what we say separate offenses to be added in ipc who told this it's a law commission suggestion okay we need a separate offenses to be added instead of subsuming okay separate offenses to be added then what else can be done to avoid hate speech 
there should be a collective social action yes or no if somebody incites violence against one particular group for example i belong to x religion somebody is sending me uh, uh, violence and uh, bad or what we say proactive messages from uh, uh, with respect to y and all then my attitudes towards that particular thing should change i should not stay in a filter bubble yes or no collective social and political action as well did you remember when we were ta- talking about the causes of uh, hate speech politicization is also a cause yes or no politicization of social divides that is also a cause for the hate speech so there should be collective social and political actions even politicians to come should come forward to go against the incidences of hate speech yes or no then what else can be done obviously as i've told you media is something which is making us to stay in a filter bubble yes or no so we should have effective media regulation we have to regulate the media you have to remove the content which spreads hatred and all yes now along with that as i've told you in polity whenever a topic of uh, such kind will happen there will be committees that will be set what does committees will do they will give suggestions what suggestions they will give obviously they will give suggestions to curb the hate speech they will also give the definition of hate speech as well so what is a committee in the articles it says that similar proposals to add sections to ipc to punish acts statements that promote racial discrimination to amount of hate speech have been made by mp uh, base bora committee and tk vishwanathan committee so this particular two committees are very important tk vishwanathan committee at present committees they are suggesting this particular uh, reforms within the criminal laws so whatever the ip uh, whatever the law commission said the same is a suggestion of suggestion of tk vishwanathan committee also they are also saying that separate sections should be there to deal with the to tackle the hate crimes and hate speech so what are all the committees that we have tk vishwanathan committee okay and base borrow uh, committee base borrow committee these bo- both the things were actually uh, dealing with the something called hate speech they are they are constituted to deal with the hate speech clear till here so overall if you go through the news from last 4 to 5 months okay you will you have many incidences of hate speech okay this particular lecture this particular lecture is a crux of all the things that we have done that we have seen in the past thing okay and if you remember this diagram the news hate speech definition regulations causes consequences supreme court cases committees that were constituted views of the scholars and way forward then we can actually have a 360 degree view of that particular topic yes or no now what is the view of a scholar so that can also be taken as a way forward okay scholar called jonathan menard okay he is a political scientist he says so he actually suggested that whenever there is a incidence of hate speech there should be a counter speech for example one particular uh, message in whatsapp is promoting hatred towards a community then how can you curtail that hate speech incidences you should have counter speech what does this counter speech mean which is nothing but positive speech okay positive speech this was one of the view of a scholar okay this actually have been implemented in bangalore you know bangalore police have implemented this concept called counter speech basically what happened in bangalore is there was some differences between natives of bangalore and northeast people okay there were some differences this natives used to feel this this northeast people were coming it means it is nothing but uh, discrimination within the social fabric because of the social divides i told you right now what this bangalore people started is that bangalore police what they used they used this technique called counter speech they started promoting positive aspects or positive speeches with respect to that northeast indians and all and interestingly gradually 
this particular uh, hate issues between this natives and uh, northeast people got reduced okay so because of the counter speech wala thing what happened the incidences of uh, this hate issues got reduced now do you understand a scholar's view is very much important to use it as a suggestion or a way forward clear everyone so this is what all about hate speech so this was there in news from past few months and there was this article about hate speech in uh, july 16th also so that is a reason we talked about this particular thing okay right everyone thanks a lot for attending the session and we'll uh, we'll also uh, talk about some other topics as well in in future thanks a lot